Hello, Mrs. Delane here, and I'm so glad that you've joined me for another video. If you've watched my videos before, you know that now is a great time to gather a few supplies. And today, I think the only thing you might want to grab is a Bible, if you have it, if you'd like to hold it in your hands while you listen to the story. So go ahead and hit pause, grab your Bible, come right back, and I'll wait for you right here. Okay, great. Now, before we dive into our story, let's pray together. Praying is talking and listening to God. Fold your hands and bow your heads. Let's pray. Dear God, thank you for loving us. Please open our ears and open our hearts to hear this story from your true book, the Bible. Amen. Now, if you went to grab your Bible, open it up to Genesis chapter 27. Remember, Genesis is the first book of the Bible, so it's way at the beginning, chapter 27. And you can read along or just look at it, just hold it in your hands while you listen to this story. Our story today is about two brothers, Esau and Jacob. Now, God had a very special plan for Esau's life, and God had a very special plan for Jacob's life. Even though Jacob was the younger brother, it was God's plan for Jacob to receive a very special blessing from their father, Isaac. And the time came for Isaac to give his special blessing. Now remember, it was God's plan for Jacob to receive this special blessing, but Isaac wanted it to go to Esau. So Isaac came up with his own plan to make sure that he gave Esau the special blessing. He called Esau into his tent and he said, Esau, go out and hunt, prepare some yummy food, bring it to me so that I may eat it and give you my special blessing. So Esau left to go do that. Now, Rebecca, their mother, heard Isaac talking to Esau and she knew that it was not God's plan for Esau to receive the special blessing. Rebecca knew that it was God's plan for Jacob to receive the special blessing. And rather than wait for God to fulfill his perfect plan for her son's lives, Rebecca came up with a plan of her own. She had Jacob go out and get two goats, and she prepared some really delicious food. And it was her plan to trick Isaac into thinking that Jacob was in fact Esau. So she put some goat skin on Jacob's hands and the back of his neck so that he would feel all hairy like his brother Esau. And then she also had Jacob wear Esau's clothes so that he would smell like Esau also. So Jacob took the yummy food that Rebecca had prepared and he brought it to his father, Isaac. He said, father, it's me, your son Esau. Now, Isaac was blind. That means he couldn't see, but he could hear, he could smell, and he could touch. And he knew that Jacob did not sound like his son Esau. So he said, is it really you? Is it really you, Esau? He wanted to make sure it was Esau because he wanted to give his special blessing to Esau. Now Jacob lied. Lying is saying words that are not true. Lying is a sin, and God does not want his people to lie. Jacob lied and said, it is me, your son Esau. So he gave Isaac the yummy food, which Isaac ate, and then Isaac wanted to make sure that it was Esau. So he asked for a kiss, and Jacob leaned in to give his father a kiss, and Isaac smelled Esau's clothing on Jacob and was quite sure that it was Esau after all. So he gave Jacob the special blessing, thinking it was Esau. Now it was not right for Rebecca and Jacob to trick Isaac. It was not right for them to lie. They did not trust that what God plans always happens. Jacob left the tent and Esau came in shortly after that. And he said, Father, it's me, your son Esau. I brought you yummy food to eat. And immediately 
Isaac knew that he had given the special blessing to Jacob. Isaac knew that his plan hadn't worked. He knew that God's plan had worked because what God plans always happens. Now God planned for Jesus to come from Jacob's family and he did. Jesus was born as a baby. He grew up to be a man. He lived a perfect life and paid the price for our sins. What God plans always happens. We can trust God because what he plans always happens. We can know that he will always keep his word. We can trust and obey him. And let's sing a song about that. Let's sing the song, Trust and Obey. Trust and obey, for there's no other way to be happy in Jesus, but to trust and obey. Can you sing that with me this time? Trust and obey, for there's no other way to be happy in Jesus but to trust and obey. Very nice singing. And I'd like you to remember, one, two, this is true. God loves me and God loves you. Thanks for joining me and I will see you again next time. Bye-bye.